Hello guys and welcome back to this new episode. So today we are going to talk about the Devil's Bible. Yes. Okay, so it's known as the Devil's Bible and there's a whole legend behind it. And technically speaking, this is a manuscript. Um, so this is the story of another manuscript. In any case you don't remember, uh, there's a video on the Voynich uh, manuscript. But anyway, um, another manuscript that is technically known with the term of Gigas Codex. Now, it is a very heavy, hefty volume, 310 pages, 160 donkeys or cows made those pages. Um, it's like very heavy, I was saying, so it weighs 74 kilos with 92 centimeters of height and 22 centimeters uh, in terms of thickness of this manuscript. Okay, so it contains a bunch of different instructions like alphabets, different um, sets of alphabets, it contains magical formulas and a bunch of other descriptions, but it also contains the picture of a devil, which is like a 50 centimeter um, picture of the devil. Um, it is preserved in the um, Swedish National Library and it is in Sweden um, in Stockholm because this manuscript was originally preserved in Prague but after the Thirty Year War in 1648 the manuscript was taken and given to um, the Swedish um, king um, and so it went from Rudolf II who originally possessed the manuscript to the National Library in Sweden in, so in Stockholm now, this manuscript contains, I was saying, the picture of a devil. And there's a whole legend behind that, saying basically that um, to avoid, um, to be walled up alive, a monk um, was forced in one night to write the entire manuscript um, and so sold his soul to the devil and that's why we have the picture of the devil. In reality, or what we think reality is, um, is very different, very different. Um, the monk uh, to whom the manuscript is ascribed is known with the term of urban inclusus. Now inclusus doesn't mean world up alive, but it means isolated from the rest of the world. Um, we have no currently at least, no idea um, on why uh, the manuscript was created or why it actually contains a picture of the devil. Um, we do know again that there were magical formulas, so possibly it was another manuscript that the monks were writing to collect, to gather information and partially coming from translation of other texts. But that is it. We don't know anything else. So guys, with that being said, it's kind of like living in the middle, but there is no other information out there. So let me know what you guys think. Why on earth would a monk depict the devil on the manuscript? And why don't we know more about this medieval manuscript? I mean, not the technical reasons. The technical reasons are easy to imagine, but we actually like, like popularly don't know enough. Okay, so with that being said, guys, we'll talk some more next time. And for now, this is it. Um, so if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, uh, comment below, and of course, subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell and um, support the channel if you want to. Okay, we'll talk some more next time. Bye!